Are you ready to expand your brand with franchising? Are you planning to expand with a Fofo model or a Foco model? Over 90% of the franchising businesses worldwide follow the Fofo model, providing entrepreneurs with the opportunity to own and operate their own franchising business. So what are these? What is Fofo? What is Foco? Hello everyone, myself Dr. Rupal Agarwal from your retail coach, we are retail and e-commerce management consultants and today we are going to discuss what are Fofo and Foco models in franchising. We also have a takeaway tip for all of you who are planning to give or take franchises. So do stay back till the end. There are numerous models in franchising, but Fofo and Foco seem to be most common ones. Foco, which means franchisee owned company operated. It means that the franchisee shall invest in setting up the franchisee store or the outlet. The investment includes your franchisee fee, the interiors of the store, buying the furniture, fixtures, equipments, etc. Here the objective is the franchisee is not involved in day-to-day -day operations, which means the day-to-day -day operations shall be carried out by the company themselves. Franchisee is usually an investor for the franchisee location and would get returns as decided within the franchisee model. The returns could be only a fixed amount or a combination of fixed and variable that is percentage on revenues. FOFO means franchisee owned, franchisee operated. It means the franchisee shall invest as well as manage the daily operations of the business if anyone is looking to actively start a new business and wishes to run a franchisee business, this model is opted. Here the franchisee shall invest into the complete setup of the franchisee store and also take care of the operating expenses of the franchisee outlet. Franchiser, that is a company, is generally responsible to provide the inventory required to sell. In case of food outlet, it would be the recipes and the secret ingredients. Franchiser shall provide the SOPs, that is standard operating procedures, which will explain how to manage the franchisee outlet. Without SOPs, it would be difficult for the franchisee to maintain the service standards and may lead to dissatisfied customers and may also result in franchisee closure. If you want to franchise your business and want to understand how franchisee businesses work, then we have a video for you. I have attached the link in the description box. The takeaway tip for this video is 74% of the franchisee businesses fail due to poorly defined franchisee model with the scope of the work for the franchisor and franchisee is not well defined. Highlighting the areas which usually create controversies between franchisor and franchisee, franchisee fees, the amount is it one time or recurring. The second one is who shall bear the conventional marketing expenses, who shall bear the digital marketing expenses, revenue sharing mechanism and method to calculate it, the impact of taxes on revenue share, clearly defined scope of work of the franchisee and the franchisor in the business operations, the exit strategy and does it have any lock-in period? Impact of investment after exit. Brand management rights after exit from franchisee agreement. Franchising is like a double-edged sword, which cuts beautifully but kills terribly. Hence, it is extremely important to get the franchising model designed by professionals and not be penny-wise found foolish. I hope you liked our video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.